Hi there, I'm Andrea Marcellus, creator of the And Life app, and these are five great pre and postnatal workout moves you absolutely don't want to miss out on. These moves are going to strengthen your core as well as release tension in your hips, your lower back, and your neck, and they're going to help strengthen you and calm you mentally to prepare you for this journey that you're on. So here we go. You're going to start with your feet a little more than hip width apart. We're going to take a deep breath and we're going to drop into a modified chair pose from yoga. So whatever you can do here is great. Dropping down to just whatever level feels right for you. Give yourself a moment. This is going to be your warm up. And if you can see, I'm working to keep my chest up. I'm working these postural muscles in the back, which you'll feel already. And depending on your pregnancy level, or if you've already had the baby and how sensitive you are here, you'll either be able to really feel this engagement in your abdominals or not, but just try to picture the lowest of the low abdominals supporting you here. I know you feel your heart rate already, and let's move this side and center side and center don't come up and down at all shoulder blades are sliding down the back we're keeping your neck open and the reason you're doing this aside from strengthening your legs which i know you're noticing and a little cardio we are also strengthening the lower back which is the best way to help yourself with lower back pain and discomfort i know you think you want to stretch it but it's better to start with strengthening it to help you get to relief. Okay, take a breath, exhale, let that go. Okay, our next exercise is going to be a squat to a side leg lift. So all we're gonna do is take little namaste hands right here, roll the shoulders back and down again, lift that chest because that energizes you. Drop into your chair pose for a second. We're gonna go a little further into a squat. So sit back, you can let your chest come forward just a little bit. And then we're gonna stand up tall, lift your leg out to this side. Other side, inhale and exhale. We're gonna connect the breath, inhale. Now try to hold here a second. Good, inhale, exhale, try to hold. Keep your knees pointing directly towards me. You wanna feel this along the back side of the leg, not your quad. If that knee rotates up to the ceiling, we'll be working in the wrong place. So keep the knee facing forward. Good, and what we're doing here, aside from strengthening the hip, and the core by keeping the abs in, connecting the breath to this balance movement is allowing us to shut off the fear and anxiety center in our brain. Your brain can't multitask. You can't be doing this movement and be full of worry at the same moment. So the longer you hold that balance, the more benefit you're gonna get out of it, both in terms of strengthening and in mental strengthening. So here we go, one more set. Nice work and rest, good. Okay, our last standing exercise is going to be a lunge with a nice old hold and I call this self-love lunge. So, all we're gonna do is give ourselves a hug. Stand with your feet, hip with apart, give yourself a hug. This is gonna stretch the muscles in your upper back. You're gonna lunge back with one foot. Now, if you need to use a chair next to you that's just fine for balance, hold here. Otherwise, take both arms out and squeeze between the shoulder blades. Lift the chest, which will energize you. We're gonna hold here. Three, two, one, and then come back in. Give yourself a hug. The other arm on top this time, and let the muscles in your upper back stretch out again. Then we're gonna activate. Here we go. So step back with your other leg. Find the lunge, drop straight down, 90 degree angle. Open the arms, squeeze in the upper back between the shoulder blades. So we're stretching the chest, we're strengthening in the upper back, and we're strengthening in the core. Again, this balance work is calming. Breathe and exhale up. Good. One more time each side. Here we go, switch legs. Drop straight down, abs are deep. So this isometric work, just holding a position is the fastest way to build pure strength. So we are strengthening like crazy right here, and we're strengthening our mind. We're training ourselves to be calm through discomfort, which is enormously helpful, not only in childbirth, but also just in motherhood. <laughs> Holding right there, lift your chest, and then come back up, stretch out the upper back, 
last time and rest good so we're going to come on down to the floor just take one foot behind you carefully find the floor with your hands and then you'll find yourself on all fours this is rainbow legs take your hands right under your shoulders you want to pull the shoulders open away from the ears so we have a nice long neck take your leg behind you and out to the side of the mat we're going to lift up to the height of the hip over to the other side and then come on back pull the leg as long as you possibly can the whole time you do this and keep the lowest of the low abdominals deep so in this position even if you're really pregnant you can feel that engagement just think about engagement we're not squeezing anything we want to engage and that's what you want to find here this position is also very soothing for the back and we're activating all those muscles that help to support the lower back so this gluteal work and we're pulling the front of our leg up from our knee tight so we're strengthening the quad at the same time and also all the muscles of the hip really powerful exercise to do a lot of things all at one time let's switch sides here we go pull the leg long first then out to the side up and over a Pilates sensibility so we work with length length to create strength so every time you lift this up and over you're thinking about pulling that leg longer and longer and you're thinking about deepening your abdominals keeping your neck and shoulder easy only the amount of energy we absolutely need to do this exercise and the rest of us is relaxed and that's a great life principle isn't it <laughs> putting out the amount of energy you need to put out to accomplish your goal or your task and then staying as relaxed as possible two more please good and last one excellent and give yourself a rest in this mini workout is almost done we are ready for a fabulous stretch this is modified camel pose so sit and crisscross take your hands back behind you now all you're going to do is think about pushing the floor away to lift the chest your fingertips are forward and you're gonna hold here in this crisscross position where the hips are easy. If you can, you're almost trying to lift yourself off the floor a little bit. From here, let's take a breath and hold in stillness for a moment. Just experience stillness without allowing yourself to panic and then exhale. We're gonna do that again. When you're ready, let your breath inform. When you're ready to move, here we go, it's inhale. And now just stay here in stillness for a moment. And by practicing stillness, this is a position where we're holding our breath still, our body wants to panic, but you're in charge and you're not going to panic. And this is the brain training moment. And then exhale. Good, and one more time, press that floor away. We're thinking about opening the heart to the sun. The sun has tremendous energy that you can always get just Imagine it pouring into yourself in that stillness, filling yourself with light. And when you're ready, exhale, release. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this workout. For more workouts like this, you can always check out my And Life Out for classes or custom workouts you make yourself. And you can invite a friend to. And I'll see you again soon.